click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, what we are going to see today is a crucible furnace. It is again used for melting of the metal and the melted metal is used in our casting process. It solidifies and hence a final cast or your final metal or we can say your final product is being produced. So we will go into detail in this video. So crucible furnace, unlike other furnaces, it is again used for melting of the metal. The metal is poured in solid form or in semi-solid form. It is melted but via different means. Like in cupola it is melted, cupola is a furnace, cupola is it is melted in a different mean, induction it is melted in a different mean, even in an electric arc furnaces it melts in a different mean. What happens in a crucible furnace? The name itself suggests there is a crucible in which your actual metal to be melted has been kept. Heat is provided via different means in every furnace. In this, there is no direct contact of heat with your crucible. An indirect fired form furnace kind of a crucible is used. We can name it like indirect fired form. It is used, it is heating your crucible indirectly and melting of the metal is done. Inside the crucible, there are some linings called it refractory linings. These are again used to sustain the high temperature of your molten metal. Like after heating the molten metal, like it is not molten before heating, after heating it becomes molten and that too you are supplying heat temperature increase. So what happens is your molten metal can spoil or it can degrade the inner walls of your crucible. That's why refractory linings are provided so that your molten metal cannot degrade the inner linings of your crucible. So if we will classify the crucible furnace basically in three types. One is lifting, second is stationary and third is tilting. We will go into detail and see the diagram of all the three types of this crucible furnace in our next slides. So in this diagram you can see there is a crucible, air or gas supplied is there from the bottom side of the crucible, it is heated, round heating is done and excess heat which is not required goes off from the upper end. So in this way heating is done, your actual metal to be heated is being kept in a crucible which is there and after heating your met metal get melted. So if you will see these three types of furnaces, these are some crucible furnaces. In the first furnace what you can see the heat supply is there from the bottom of the side then after heating the crucible can be lifted up and it can be removed that's why the name is lifting up. In the second furnace, the crucible is stationary, the metal has to be removed from other means, that's why the crucible is stationary basically, that's why the name is stationary and in the third type, the crucible can be tilted, a wheel is provided so that tilting of the crucible can be done easily, that's why the name is tilting. So these are the three types of crucible furnaces which are just used for heating of the metal but in an indirect way, like heat is not provided directly. In all the furnaces, heat cannot be provided directly. So in crucible, the heat is provided in an indirect way which is shown in the diagram in the respective crucibles. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.